So if you're looking for inspiration for new self-care morning habits, watch this video because I'll be sharing with you 12 morning habits for a more mindful morning routine. Hey, what's up? What's going on? My name is Sabrina. I'm here to help you glow from within. So if you are interested in all things healthy living and holistic healing, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of the new daily videos. So let's start with number one, which is when I first wake up is to scrape my tongue with a tongue scraper. This is an Ayurvedic practice that helps to detoxify the body right you know, off the bat, right to start your morning, you literally just scrape off all of the toxins that have accumulated throughout the night uh, from your digestive system. So literally you're going to have a white coating, which is pretty much disgusting at first when you start doing it. So with the tongue scraper, first thing in the morning, you will be able to get rid of any toxins right when you start the day on a fresh start. And yeah, before everyone drinking water, like literally this is my first thing that I do because just quickly, I talk about this in my uh, video, 15 ways to detoxify your body every day. But um, just to sum it up, when you digest your food at night, the uh, unprocessed food or toxins usually will come up on your tongue in the morning and that's why you will have a white coating. So having a white coating is pretty normal in general. You want to have a little bit of coating in there just to get rid of the uh, excess unprocessed foods or unprocessed, uh, I would say, toxins that have accumulated in the body uh, throughout the night. The harder the food was to digest, the more white coating you will have on your tongue. And using the tongue is a great way to see what's going on inside. So if you see there's a lot of white coating, it's probably because a lot of toxins uh, were accumulated from the previous meal and it was harder to digest for your gut. So get rid of the toxins right off the bat, just scrape about six to nine times and then uh, slowly just rinse off the tongue scraper and then continue your morning routine afterwards. So while I'm just doing this, I like to uh, brush my teeth afterwards and sometimes even do oil pulling, which is to swish some coconut oil for about five to 20 minutes in my mouth. But um, honestly, I'm just really way too lazy to do this every day. So I'll just, you know, skip it most of the time. So number two is to have my warm beverage in the morning. And this will really depend on the seasons and how I'm feeling. But uh, right now it is summer, so I'm having about two glasses of room temperature water and then I have my cappuccino and even though coffee is not that you know considered good for the body in Ayurveda I don't mind I like to have my little cappuccino in the morning and um I just don't want to restrict myself from anything I know you know what coffee does to the body and I don't mind I just like to have my little cappuccino in the morning, so that's what I will have. But if I feel like I'm having some digestive issues, some bloating, some gas, or I'm just not feeling well, I will have a ginger tea without any sweeteners in there instead of the coffee. And sometimes when I'm really feeling like it, I will just have some warm water and some lemon, but that just really depends, again, on the seasons and how I'm feeling. Number three is a bianga. A bianga is self-oil massage in the morning. Uh, it takes me literally five minutes. I just have my little bottle of oil and I massage my body all the way uh, from the toes all the way to the neck. And I don't necessarily massage the whole body. I mostly apply the oil and about once a week, I will literally do a massage. So this definitely helps with nourishing your nervous system, grounding your body, it helps your skin glow from within. It helps to uh, nourish the joints, the muscles, any body aches. And it helps uh, if you're working a lot on your, on your computer and stressing out a lot on social media and there's a lot of depletion and exhaustion that happens in the body and mind. So by doing a Bianga every day, it helps really to start your day in a calm, centered uh, state of mind. So that's what I like to do. It literally takes five minutes. And if I'm really in a rush, I will just uh, apply oil to my feet. So I like to use uh, as a good rule of, th of thumb, some almond oil or sesame oil. And sometimes I like to treat myself into buying some herbal Ibianga oil. So these are uh, special Ayurvedic oils that have a lot of herbal supplements in there that will even more nourish your body or whatever imbalances you're trying to treat in there, uh, it'll definitely help. But if you wanna start, you can just have some almond oil or sesame oil. Number four is my meditation. I usually like to meditate at least 10 minutes every day. If I have more time, I will do 20 minutes, even 30 minutes. But um, on a day-to-day -day basis, I go for 10 minutes. This is just my um, perfect timing for me, just to make sure that I can find this really calming, centered, 
clear-headed space just right before I start my day and by doing it in the morning is way easier before you get stuck um, in the mental aspect of your work day so I definitely try to meditate either with an app or I like to um, just follow my breath because I you know I've been meditating for a while now so I can do this on my own but most of the time I like to do for I like to go for a guided meditation. Number five is totally optional. I don't do this absolutely every day but if I feel like I'm really nervous a certain morning I wake up feeling anxious pranayama or breath breath practice is a great way to get back into your body and trying to move a little bit more the energy or the life force. So I like to um a simple one that I like to do is to breathe in for five, hold for five, and exhale for seven. So this will really just bring me back into my body, bring it back, you know, um, tuning more into my breath and having a little bit more body awareness and being less in my head. Because when I wake up feeling too anxious and uh, stressed out, that's usually because I'm too much in my head and less in my body. So by doing this pranayama practice, really simple, nothing forcing, really um, some nice breath work. This is where I get to uh, get a little bit more control over my breathing and a little bit more control over my thoughts. Number six is journaling right after my meditation. Either if something was made a little bit more clearer for me after my meditation, I will write it out. If I had any downloads or ideas for my videos or for my business, I will usually write it down in my journal. Or if I um, feel like I need to get some stuff out from my subconscious mind, I will just free write for a few minutes. And um, afterwards, I like to have just some few um, grateful statements or um, affirmations that I like to write down to get myself in a really good positive mood. Number seven is yoga or stretching. This really depends on the amount of time that I have. I usually will go for 20 minute yoga practice in the morning because that's the amount of time that I have in the morning if I want to make sure to record my daily video and start my work day on time. But uh, I used to practice yoga for hours in the morning. Just just really depends on your lifestyle. So um, I feel like 20 minutes is the perfect amount of time where you actually get a lot of uh, benefits from a yoga practice while stretching your body, getting back into a more grounded space. If you have two minutes to uh, be in Shavasana or corpse pose, this is a really good way to start your day as well. Number eight is I already prepare my office with some incense. I like to put on some healing drumming sounds or healing frequencies. Um, this usually just puts on the mood and, you know, helps with just clearing the vibe from the last day of work. And by the time, like, the energy and the incense do its magic, I like to take my shower, get ready. This is just, you know, working in the background while I'm getting ready in the bathroom. So yeah, number nine is taking a warm shower because after doing Abhyanga or the self-oil massage, you want to rinse off any excess oil that wasn't absorbed through your skin. So in the shower, I don't use a lot of silk. Uh, basically just the oil will uh, get rid of any gunk that's accumulated on your skin and I will just use a little bit of soap on uh, the I would say smellier parts of the body because I have really sensitive skin this is a great way for me to make sure that my skin doesn't get irritated or something it does take a few days to get uh, used to not washing all body parts but you will see that you will feel a lot less irritated and sensitive afterwards if you have this type of skin as well. And then number 10, obviously I do my skincare, I do a nice light makeup and I put some hair oil and I uh, maybe I will add a little bit more lighter body oil at this point as well. Number 11, and this depends really on the seasons, usually in summer I skip this one, but you, most of the year I will have a warm breakfast, either some warm oatmeal or some stewed fruits, stewed apples with a little bit of spices in there, something just to ground my body before I start my workday. At number 12, right before I start my workday, I would have either some room temperature water with cucumber or mint or um, any really fresh foods in my water during summer and in winter we'll have a warm herbal tea like lavender tulsi. I also like some peppermint. I uh, love also a nice uh, licorice tea as well and then just make sure to drink this room temperature water or this warm water throughout the whole day while I'm working on my computer. 
So that's it for me. I hope this uh, morning routine has inspired you, maybe gave you some new self-care ideas for your own mindful morning routine. So don't feel like you have to do absolutely everything, every 12 steps of this uh, self-care morning routine, but uh, maybe try one, two at a time, and then eventually add a few in there. This also depends on your lifestyle and how much time you've got in the morning. So if you want to start a meditation practice, I do have a magic grounding meditation below where I uh, guide you through a 10 minute practice to ground your body, ground your nervous system and feel really cool, calm and centered to start your day. So make sure to download it below for free. And until then, we'll see you in the next video.